everybody, this is Anderson Vest Tour. I'm here live with James Conn, the producer of Need for Speed World, John Doyle. We're going to sit down with him, have a little interview, find out some stuff about Need for Speed World. So, what can you tell me about you know Need for Speed World coming up? What's in the near future? What's in store for us? Well, I got a lot of stuff going on. Obviously, uh, the game's out. It's uh, it's uh, the kind of thing where uh, new content has to come out all the time. We're going to iterate on the game quite a bit. Uh, what we showed today was uh, the world uh, lit at night, at night, which will be one of the things coming out in our day-night cycle. It'll be full dusk till dawn through the nighttime as well. Uh, we showed some new chunks of world, uh, some things that are uh, not accessible on the map now that we'll have out shortly. And then uh, we also showed some new uh, things that hopefully everyone's excited about. Uh, we have performance customization, a full performance customization system ready to come into the game. Uh, I think uh, that'll be pretty cool, but we'll get more detail up on the website before too long. And then we showed a new game mode uh, in Team Escape, which is uh, you and up to three of your friends uh, in a cooperative escape uh, away from the police and an escalating heat level. So it's uh, something the guys got to play today, and uh, hopefully everyone uh, had a good time, and uh, we'll get it out soon. Speaking of Team Escape, are we ever going to see other opportunities, like variations of that, where maybe you can have the players play as the police instead of uh, just the racers? I think uh, in Team Escape, we want to focus that one on co-op in particular, so I think there's a lot of cool modes we can do around co-op, putting you in different vehicles, giving you different objectives. Uh, in terms of playing the cops, uh, so we had some great modes in past Need for Speeds, like, uh, like uh, Pursuit Knockout, Pursuit Tag, that I'd love to bring back, and they're on our list of things to uh, put kind of a Need for Speed world take on them in a minute. Cool, cool, man. So, um, let's talk a little bit about, you know, the progression system. I mean, we all know it's very difficult to progress a world, and that's obviously deliberate, but it's, it's a lot of fun, you know, really work hard, so once you get there, it's, it's like you earn it. But we ever have chances, I mean, a really big trend, trend nowadays in the uh, internet gaming community is the use of double XP weekends, if you would. Is there any chance that we'll see that in world where we get double rep, or maybe even double the money, make it easier? Well, uh, it is challenging right now, I think, for a lot of people, especially if you're playing casually, to progress through the game as fast as you want to, uh, and we didn't mean to make it that hard. So I think we'll continue to tune the game, both in terms of rewards and in terms of difficulty, so that it feels a little more uh, engaging, at least initially. In terms of double XP weekends or uh, special events, absolutely, there's a ton we're going to do. Uh, and we're really waiting to, to, until we start to ramp up a big audience, and then we'll throw all that stuff on. Awesome. So, um, you know, speaking of special events and uh, contests and whatnot, do you think we're, we're going to have opportunities where we have a photo mode contest or maybe a hot lap contest? To where you can win a car in the game or maybe win a unique performance upgrade, unique vinyl, something like that to show that you won this contest. I think that I think that getting out uh, specific prizes is certainly something we're going to do. That's something uh, uh, NFS Drew and the, and the community team are going to put together. Uh, one of the things, the new features we showed today was the, uh, was the leaderboard system. Uh, so there'll be friends leaderboards on the web and in the game, and we're uh, asking the community sites, we're giving them an API so they can build their own forms of custom leaderboard and run their own competitions. And I think uh, we'll find ways to make sure that we can give out some pretty cool prizes. Cool. So um, what about, like, you know, we have a huge, massive, free-roaming environment of classic Need for Speed maps that people love, Rockport, Palmont City. Is there a chance that people are going to be able to create their own routes through that city and drive on yeah, that's something we definitely want to do. I can't, uh, I can't say exactly when that will come out, but uh, one of the things we want to do is get a mode out where uh, you can challenge someone, uh, determine the start point, determine the end point, and, and race on. And, uh, on the actual creating a new race route, I think Drew's going to run a contest before too long uh, where we're going to ask people uh, to use the map to uh, build their perfect race route, and we'll pick one that we uh, think is cool and we'll build it and put it in the game. That's a really awesome idea. Well, John, I thanks for your time, man. Thanks for coming down, sitting with me, having a little interview, man. And good luck in the future world. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it.